Here is where I get to set my spirit free Here is where I find my naturality Where are we going? Where are we going? That's a question everyone is asking. And for myself, I got COVID-19 back in the spring. I had one semester of the college experience, and now it's the unknown. So today we will be talking about how students are coping with those changes. I'm Melanie Formosa, a sophomore journalism student, and we have Greta Stranger here today from the student support team. So Greta, what are you seeing with this new environment? Yeah, it's new. Our lives have been disrupted and we're all trying to figure out what our lives will look like moving forward. Um, Stony Brook students are incredibly resilient, but students are facing challenges that they've never faced before. Financial hardships, um, sickness in their family, sickness themselves, um, lots of disruptions from their academic goals and, and what they expected in their college experience. Of course, so how is student engagement, do you think, changing? Because yeah. Of this. Yeah. Well, when the pandemic hit, all of the offices, the support offices on campus were challenged to pivot, which meant going virtual and being creative and finding events um, that were socially distanced. And I think students are really looking to connect and build community. Um, we just have to figure out what that looks like. And so our student engagement office has done an incredible job of providing opportunities and and the student support team in the Dean of Students Office were encouraging students to connect with them. Um, just earlier this week, I helped facilitate a community dialogue in the Center for Civic Justice. And that was an amazing opportunity where I got to connect with six students who didn't know each other over Zoom. Um, and we all created a little bond and a connection that maybe wouldn't have happened before. There's opportunities all throughout the week for students um, who might just need to take a little extra step to engage in that way, to meet new people and build connection and community. Right, so freshmen probably could really help from that because they know nobody. Right? Yes. Yeah, perhaps maybe even more than ever before, the freshman seminar classes, the one-on-one courses, are incredibly important to the freshman experience this year. Um, and so those are smaller classrooms where incoming students can connect on a deeper level and get to know the university, the different offices, what the offices look like in mm -hmm. this new environment, and hopefully build relationships. Mm, so do you think that your office is really targeting those who are lacking that support because of the Zoom and the online hybrid yeah. classes or remote classes fully? Yeah, the student support team, what we do is we connect with students who are facing hardship that might be getting in the way of their academic goals or their academic success. And so that's what we have always done. Um, but now in the pandemic, you can imagine there are a lot of students who are facing hardship in lots of different ways. And so we are constantly trying to find resources um, like the food pantry on campus mm -hmm. or the student emergency support fund um, mm -hmm. to really provide them with the basic needs that they need to be able to be their best self and also continue with their studies. Right, so I was gonna say that financial hardship is probably facing a lot of students. Now they need a working computer, now they need Wi-Fi, now they need smartphones. Yes. So how is your office helping those yeah. students? The community really stepped up. Back in March, um, we launched the Student Emergency Support Fund and the community through philanthropy work raised nearly a million dollars, wow. which allowed us to connect with students who were facing hardship um, who were facing housing insecurity and food insecurity and to be able to help them in ways that allowed them to continue their education so that they didn't have to be disrupted during COVID. That's wonderful. Yeah, so now as far as clubs and activities and as I said before, that typical college experience, what do you think students are facing now that that's all kind of ripped away from them? 
Yeah. Well, we're hopeful that it doesn't fully feel ripped away, mm -hmm. that there are still creative ways that students can stay involved um, and connected and continue to build community. The social part of a college experience is so important. Mm. And so it might look different than before, um, but I think there's some really awesome opportunities um, to really connect in a different way. Mm. So do you think mental health is kind of taking a, a toll on just student academics and overall engagement because of that lack of social interaction? Um, yeah, I think sometimes that can be related to a lot of things. Students are in isolation or maybe back in home environments that they weren't in before. Mm -hmm. um, lots of different factors that could contribute to somebody maybe needing to put a little bit more attention to self-care and their mental health during this time. We all do. Mm, I agree with that. So what kind of self-care tips and just mental health um, feedback can you give to make students just kind of get through this. Yeah. Well, in our 101 classes, we love to talk about mindfulness and meditation mm. as a practice. We have incredible resources in our CPO office, in our CAPS, our Counseling and Psychological Services. Um, so there are direct places that students can go on campus, but also build skills on their own at home or in their residence halls where they can build their own toolkit um, of of things to do to keep them healthy and safe and and mentally okay. Mm, so we could say exercise, right? Healthy eating. Absolutely. There's so many ways that students can nurture themselves. Wow. Absolutely. So now as far back to your office, yeah. um, what do you do to help students? Yeah. So we meet with students virtually, through the phone, um, and before COVID in person <laughs> um, and we really sit with them. We listen, we hear what they're going through and we help them navigate their college experience. So if they're facing a hardship, we want to help remove those barriers and connect them with different offices on campus that might help them continue with their academics. Mm -hmm. um, so that could be connecting them with financial aid, that could look like connecting them with the food pantry, mm. and maybe just instilling hope that there is hope for the future and, and they are supported, they aren't alone, and their Stony Brook family really is here to support them. Mm. So how do they connect with you in order to, to foster that hope? Great question. They can send us an email okay. at student underscore support team at stonybrook.edu. Okay. They can give us a call um, our, at our office number, um, and we have a wonderful team of, of folks who will connect with them and, and listen and, and support them through whatever they're going through. Wow, that's a great resource. So back to you, you are a two-time alum, yes. right here at Stony Brook? Uh, yes. I'm a proud Seawolf. <laughs> wow, so yes. you, you are kind of the embodiment of Stony Brook. Yes, I came to Stony Brook and I actually competed on the volleyball team. And, and continued my education in the higher ed program. Wow. Um, so I've been at Stony Brook through a lot of different experiences um, in a lot of different places and, and it's a wonderful place. So let me ask you one more question. Sure. With COVID-19 pandemic, do you think this is the new normal as far as education? I mean, are we gonna be on the computer for the rest of our lives if we wanna get education? That's a great question. Mm. I think this is an opportunity for us to really, we kind of dove into online learning and as time evolves and we learn more about what our lives will look like, I think we get to take with us the best of, of what we learned and maybe leave some. Mm. Um, and, and I think that, that in education, um, some of the, the access to education and um, the creativity that we've had to kind of roll through <laughs> in the pandemic might actually make us stronger mm -hmm. and might provide more opportunities for more students across the country and at Stony Brook um, to be able to pursue their goals and their dreams. Mm. So <laughs> thank you, Greta. This has been an incredible conversation. I hope a lot of students will be able to get something out of it. And what what kind of advice do you give, just like leaving off with, that students can 
kind of just boost up their energy and move along. Yeah. I think we all have to think about a growth mindset and being open to change and how can this this you know pandemic make us better it's there's been so much hardship and loss um, but I think also an opportunity um, to change for the better mm. and and really being open-minded and open-hearted um, to what opportunities lie ahead and how we can really be there to support each other through this mm. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you. So, yeah, that's that's it for today. Um, thank you so much. Thanks for having me. Of course, our pleasure. And sign. Don't turn around. Don't turn around. Just keep moving forward.